a block a takes two seconds to slide down a frictionless incline so let us consider this to be the frictionless incline okay inside a lift so it is inside a lift maybe maybe we can use a different color to denote the incline so things will become more clear to you let us see. this is the incline this is the incline right mm. this completely represents the represents the lift so this represents the lift okay now if the angle of inclination is changed to 45 from 30 what time will be taken by the block to slide down okay let us first do it the first phase as uh, a block it takes two seconds so this is time of travel here is time of travel here is two seconds right so this is the initial condition where the object was on the right lift is moving up lift is moving up and so at some point of time the slide the object has slided down and the time difference to reach the final condition is actually two seconds right and here initial velocity is equal to zero okay and the and the angle is of inclination is 30 degrees see we have the equation we have the equation dis displacement time relationship right we have the displacement time relationship what is displacement time relationship s is equal to s is equal to ut plus ut plus half a t square and when s is equal to ut plus half a t square we need to understand we need to understand that s has two different elements one which is sx and the other being sy so what will be sx sx here will be equal to uxt plus half axt square corresponding to y sy would be equal to uyt plus half ayt square now we're not interested in sy here why because there is no net direction sorry net displacement in the y direction there is only displacement in the x direction there is no displacement in the y direction in the x direction we know that the initial velocity is zero therefore ux in 2 becomes zero half into ax into t square now what is ax ax is g sine theta how is a g sine theta maybe we'll derive that as well so since the motion is along the next direction only we can say that sy is equal to zero so keeping the motion in fx this is mg acting along mg is acting uh, along the sorry mg is acting towards the earth right now this mg is causing this object due to this inclination it can cause the object to come down when it is causing to come down it is not actually the mg it's the different component of mg which is making it to come down now what are the body various uh, forces acting on it here we have one force which is the vertical component of mg and then we have the normal reaction normal reaction on the block due to the surface now what is this vector which is bringing it down yes if we resolve if we resolve mg into two components one which is the horizontal component other is the vertical component we know that this is actually mg sin theta y because it's theta and this is mg cos theta right if you have a doubt here you can just find out sin theta and cos theta in this triangle you'll get this point so which is the component which is coming which is actually sliding down it is mg sin theta so let it over here mg mg sin theta and when you consider this body alone what is the net direction of motion the net direction of motion is towards downwards so what can we write about sigma fx is equal to by newton's second law of motion sigma fx is equal to m into ax which is m into a what is sigma f sigma f is the sum of forces in the x direction how many forces are present here there is only one force present here which is mg sin theta so we can write that mg sin theta is equal to ma and now m and a m, m, m will cancel on both sides so what we get is a is equal to g sin theta why did we take plus because mg sin theta is along the net direction of motion mg sin theta is acting along the net direction of motion since both of them are the same direction which is mg sin theta is positive so what is a is equal to a is equal to g sin theta now let us come back to our problem yes so here we have a is equal to a is ax will be replaced by g sin theta now uh, g is 10 so 10 by 2 is 5 so what we get is 5 into sin 30 is 1 by 2 time is 2 seconds right time is 2 seconds therefore this becomes into 2 squared 
therefore what is l is equal to l is equal to 5 into 2 square is 4 4 by 2 is 2 so l is equal to 10 meters which implies this distance here is inclined distance here is 10 meters right if that is the case let us see case 2 what is case 2 everything else remains the same instead that theta is equal to 30 is now converted to theta is equal to 45 degrees and when theta is equal to 45 degrees what is sx is equal to sy remains the same why because there is no net inertia motion of in the y direction so what sx is equal to ux t plus half ax t square what is ux zero so that becomes zero into t half into ax what is ax ax is g sine theta g sine theta into t square now the only difference what we get is half into 10 into instead of theta what is 30 sorry instead of 30 30 what is theta here theta is 45 degrees so what is sine 45 sine 45 is 1 by root 2 into into t square right and what is t square is equal to t square will be equal to uh, 1 let's okay so t square will be equal to l into 2 into root 2 the whole upon 10 right and what is the value of l we found l to be l to be wait where is l l we found to be 10 meters so we can write here l is equal to 10 so 10 into 2 root 2 divided by 10 which gives us t squared is equal to 2 root 2 so what is t is equal to t is equal to root of root of 2 root 2 or maybe to calculate it's a simple way uh, what is root 2 take it as 1.14 right so what is t square is equal to t square will be equal to 2.828 right 2.828 now what is t is equal to 2.828 t will be equal to root of 2.828 mm. okay let us see uh what is 15 square 15 square is 225 what is 1.5 square that will be 2.25 what is 1.6 square mm. 246 right yeah okay 246 so would be 2.56 what point what is 1.7 square um, is it 289 okay uh, so 49 11 7 yeah so it's 289 it'll be 2.89 uh, what do we have we have okay okay right so we have 2.828 right which means which means our value comes somewhere around here 2.2.82 therefore our answer should be somewhere between 1.6 and 1.7 and it should be closer to 1.7 so maybe we can take it as 1.68 or 1.69 so you can uh, find out the square of 1.68 and you'll have the answer here okay so yeah so that's up with this question